continued calls for justice today in the name of Jalen Walker, shot and killed by Akron police earlier this year. Oh, so protesters gathered to call for unity and justice for Walker. Remember, he died June 27th. His case is still under review, though, by the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. <clears throat> Our Carmen Blackwell is in Akron tonight with more reaction to this. Carmen, good evening. Good evening, Laura and Christy. Yes, we did see about 100 demonstrators that came out to show their support and unity for justice for Jalen Walker today here in Akron. They started this march at Grace Park and went right over the wide bridge there as well. Now, if you remember Jalen Walker, he was a 25-year-old black man who was shot and killed by eight Akron officers in an overnight police chase more than three months ago. Now, this afternoon, community members, they met up at Grace Park and they called for a safer and unified Akron. A number of groups came out to show their support and participate in that march today, including the Freedom Block, Akron Urban League, Akron NAACP, and a number of local churches as well. Close friends and family members of Jalen were there as well. Now, typically, uh, Jalen's uh, mother, Miss Pamela Walker doesn't speak very often, but she did speak today with a compelling message for everyone. She says that no mother should ever have to endure what she's had to go through and that the big issue here is issue 10. She wants everybody to get out to the polls in November for the elections and vote. Back to you. All right, Carmen Blackwell live for us tonight in Akron. Carmen, we appreciate it. Thanks.